Fragrances that make me feel... Hmm... What's happening everybody? I am back. That's right, I'm back. And we're bringing you guys another fragrance video right now. So obviously this video is going to be all about fragrances that make me feel... Dot, 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 dot. Insert what you want. I have five different categories of fragrances that make me feel different ways. So I have seen this thread floating around in the YouTube community for quite a long time now. Apparently it was started by a guy on Bass Notes. And I've seen other videos published by big name YouTube reviewers such as Cy from Fragboy Stewie, Stephen from Red Lessons, the list goes on and on. So I'm here today to give you guys my interpretation of this really cool video idea. So basically what it is, I'm going to be showing you today five fragrances that make me feel certain ways for five different categories. And those categories are confident, professional, sexy, fun, and daring. So that pretty much covers all five facets of the fragrance realm in my opinion. You need to have some of these fragrances to cover every single situation possible and these five really really are personal to me and they make me feel exactly 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 what those five feelings that I just listed. So let's jump right on into it with the first category, confidence. Guys, confidence really is key. It doesn't matter if you're super good looking, have all the money in the world, or even if you're super smart. As long as you are confident in who you are and what you do, you are pretty much untouchable. Confidence is something that everybody can work on and you know what? This bottle that I have right here in my hand is liquid confidence for me. This is confidence captured in a bottle. And this is C.H. Mann from Carolina Herrera. This thing has just been a hype monster over the past couple years in the fragrance community. And I gotta say, this one really just makes me more confident than any other fragrance that I own. As soon as I spray it on, I just feel like I'm in the zone. I feel like I'm on another level, I'm just rocking it. Of course, this is super, super unique. Maybe that's part of why it makes me feel so confident because I know that really nobody else is gonna be smelling like me. This smells like a sugary, leather-based fragrance. It has a very nice, vanilla, woody dry down. Really, really good stuff. And I just feel like I can accomplish absolutely anything when I put this stuff on. Doesn't matter if I'm giving a big speech in class, talking to this really cute girl. Doesn't matter, guys. This is my wingman. Gives me the best, best confidence booster you can imagine. And when I smell it, when I put this on, it's just incredible. And this is one of those where I feel like each spray that I put on just boosts my confidence even more. This is the older formulation, not the reformulated version. So it does have a little better performance. From what I hear, the newer formulation is a little bit watered down. But guys, seriously, off from the side, CH Man is such an amazing fragrance for me. It smells very masculine, just gives me confidence, can wear it all year long, and this is really the one that I go to when I just need a confidence boost. Okay, moving on to the next category, Professional. This one is a very professional scent in my opinion. Whenever I spray it on, I just get very serious. I'm like, it's time to do this, let's get down to business. Here's what we gotta do. This is from the house of Chanel, this is Bleu de Chanel. Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Chanel. This is the EDP concentration. Guys, this is a very, very masculine and dominant scent. As you very well know, it has the Blue de Chanel DNA, less grapefruit. The grapefruit is definitely toned down in this one. And the incense and woody aspects are ramped through the roof. This is definitely pretty mature, and I definitely wear this one suited up, going to work, going to a really important meeting. This just screams professionalism, very classy, very high quality. But seriously, guys, when I smell this, it's all jokes aside. Let's get down to business. Let's meet those sales goals for this quarter. I literally feel like a business executive whenever I wear this. But yeah, this is my very professional scent. And whenever I put it on, it's just down to business. Okay, guys, let's move on to my sexy scent. No, it's not this one. So this is pretty much the one that on everybody else's list that I've seen. This, it's either this one or the one I'm about to show you. These two are just very sexy fragrances. Some fragrances are just sexier than others. They were not created equal, and this is proof right here. This is my sexy scent right here, Diorome Intense. Guys, this is such an alluring scent. It really is. Very, very unique, very kind of daring also. It opens with the iris, very creamy. Has that beautiful powdery cocoa in the dry down. So, so good. This is a 2015 reformulated batch, so the performance is not the best. 
in comparison to the older batches. But still, guys, there's something very mysterious and very classy about this. This almost has a sexy suit night out type feel to me. Guys, this fragrance just seriously makes me want to bust out dancing. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> That's really what this makes me want to feel because I just am in love with the scent of this thing. It's so, so good. Get some compliments too, and I know I'm feeling myself when I'm wearing this thing. Feel some type of way with this one. It's really good. Okay, now it's for the fragrance that makes me feel very fun. When I think of the word fun, I think of like summertime, sun is out, let's go to the beach, let's have a great time. This is definitely the one that I choose to wear when I really just want to let loose and have a great time. This is Nautica Voyage, my most complimented summer fragrance of 2016. Gives me crazy compliments, guys, but the scent itself is just so, wow, just so relaxing. So, hey, let's have fun, very casual. It's got that, uh, got that aquatic cucumber note to it, a little bit of fruity nuances in there. So, so good. Great performance, as you very well know. I've talked this, about this one a lot on my channel for good reason, because it's a really great scent. For 12 bucks, and this is something that I can just spray on and just not worry about. I know it's going to be great. I know it's going to get compliments. It just has a very fun, carefree nature about it. And it's definitely one that I wear when I want to let loose. Okay, let's come to the last category now, the daring category. This one's a little bit of an interesting one for me. I don't really wear too many challenging or daring fragrances. If you take a look at my fragrance collection video right here, I obviously don't have a ton of like crazy incense, oud fragrances. I try and keep it more or less on the safe side, but this one for me, man, I really gotta be in the mood to, to wear this one, but I feel like when I am, I can just pull it off so well. This is Tom Ford's Noir. Guys, for me, this is the James Bond of the fragrance world. I can only wear this thing when I am suited up, black suit, white shirt underneath with the black tie, going to some super formal event, and this one is either you hate it or you love it. This fragrance is certainly not for everybody. It is a patchouli-based scent. You get some vanilla in there, some amber, but also there are some floral components, super complex, tons of layers within this one, but the scent itself is just so breathtakingly beautiful. So like I said, this one is certainly not for everybody, but when I wear this, I seriously feel like James Bond. I know that not everybody's gonna like it, but I am counting on those people who are just absolutely gonna love it, and this one, I don't even care. I just wear it for myself. I don't care about what other people think about it. I just really like this scent, and it just makes me feel like James Bond when I wear it. Very mysterious, kind of a dark vibe to it. Very, very cool. So, that was a really fun video, guys. I hope you enjoyed all my fragrances I had to show you right here. Let me know what your five fragrances are that make you feel these five categories. I'm very interested to know what all my subscribers and anybody thinks about this. So let me know about that in the comments section down below. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Peace out.